He's a man who stretches across a broad spectrum of interests, from fashion to film, music to reality television, and who enjoys extraordinary commercial success. He's experienced tragedy in the murder of his best friend and the joys of fatherhood no less than six times. Now 40 years old, Sean Diddy Combs lives a life of luxury, but also one of relentless hard work. And this is how he does it. Sean, Hello. Sean. Go. Good morning. We have a single moving up the charts with Hello Good Morning. This is a day in the life of a brand. When I'm promoting, I'm Mayweather, baby. I'm the prize fighter. Johnny or what? Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, and now just plain Diddy. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Diddy. A man of many names and plenty of products. Amid another promotional orgy, Tell your friends about it. Diddy greets me like a long-lost friend. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Yeah, I'm such a you. fan of yours. You know, I, I'm, I got a little bit nervous when I, I just found out you, you were interviewing me. This was the first time we'd ever met. It is a punishing schedule. Something now that has, to be, be honest, has turned into a problem for me. You know, not being able to sleep. You, you suffer know. with insomnia. Yeah, yeah, having insomnia. My mind is always racing. You know, it's like a gift and a curse, so. His gift has been to produce a vast array of branded products. Sarah. This 40-year-old hip-hop mogul wants to dress you in his clothes, spray you with his fragrance. I am king. Bad boy. Bad boy. And then pound you with his music. So how you not notice me? Pull up to the club in the coldest V. Uh. I was going to make the clothes that you would get dressed in, the fragrance you would put on, and listen to the music that I produced to buy the vodka that was in the club. Some you people know, might to, think to, that's a form of megalomania. To, that you uh, would what? think that. A form of megalomania. Oh, I, I, it it's could be. Clip. It's a power. He calls himself the Black James Bond. Neither shaken nor stirred, but always selling. Is there anything you would not promote? Is, did, 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 I mean, how about how about some, how yeah. about Diddy dog food? No, I wouldn't do Diddy would, dog food. I you know, uh, I don't know. Make your dog <laughs> yap to a rap or something. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do Diddy. Dog <laughs> you wouldn't food. do dog food. I mean, I would do what's organic for me. Like I love candles. I would do candles. I love jewelry. I would do jewelry that 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 fits. I would do hotels. It, it, you know, whatever was in the realm of entertainment or lifestyle, a, a curator of cool, you know, that, 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 that's, what I, that's what I do. His bad boy business empire, with Diddy at the center, is now worth an estimated $345 million. It all started with the music he made in the 90s. You know, I, I take pride in being one of the, you know, um, most successful producers in hip hop history. You know, I have the most number ones as a hip hop artist. These are things that when I say it, people are like, you have, you, have the no, you have the most number ones? It was also during the mid 90s that a venomous feud broke out between his label and the West Coast Death Row Records. In September 96, Tupac Shakur, the most talented artist at death row, was murdered in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas. Six months later, Biggie Small suffered a similar fate in L.A. Diddy released a song in tribute to his friend, I'll Be Missing You. The hit single catapulted his career. And although still on the minds of many, he's reluctant to discuss either killing. I want to ask you, if I may, about the sudden and, and tragic death of your, your close friend and colleague, Mr. Biggie Smalls. I decided like it was just something that I just wasn't going to really be talking about no more. You know what I'm saying? It's something that, you know, it's just in the past. I've talked about it so much. Um, you know, I love him. I miss him. He's one of my best friends. It's, it's a tragic loss. But do you have any idea who killed him? No. No idea. No idea. Do you know who was responsible for the killing of Tupac Shakur? No, I don't. But you still feel the loss of your friends? Yeah, of course. I feel the loss of my friends. I feel the loss of Tupac. This bad boy for life says it in his own words. It's official. I survived what I've been through. Y'all got drama. The saga continues. Since then, Diddy has left the conflicts of the rap world behind. Let's roll camera. And become a mainstream star. 
launching numerous reality shows like Only One Will Become a Star, P. Diddy Star Maker, I Wanna Work for Diddy, and Making the Band. You know something? Yo, yo, yo. I want me a piece of cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah, and y'all can walk from here. This got us walking to Brooklyn for some cheesecake. But Diddy's demanding demeanor in some of the shows has been mercilessly ridiculed by many, including comedic star Dave Chappelle. First y'all gotta walk to Queens and give me a sugar cookie. <laughs> He's about to release his first album in four years, Last Train to Paris, featuring his latest ensemble, Dirty Money. How does a hardcore gangster rapper, hip hop producer enter middle age? How, how, how does I mean, that happen? I mean, hopefully you, you, you enter it, you know, gracefully and, you know, really turning back the hands of time. But you can't be 20 anymore, can you? No, no, no. I'm talking about like your spirit. Your spirit could always stay you know, youthful. Um, I don't talk about the same things that I, that I talked about, like this album's about love. Straight on, guys. In terms of love and family life, Diddy is just as busy. How many children do you have? I have six children. Six children? Yes. Do you enjoy the responsibilities of fatherhood? Yes, I, I definitely enjoy the responsibilities of fatherhood. It's probably the thing I'm, 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 I can honestly say I'm not the most successful at, you know. What do you mean by that? As far as I feel like my kids deserve more personal time from me, from me. You've talked about wanting to be the black James Bond. You've talked about wanting to be someone that kids want to emulate. Yet, aren't you setting a bad example by being a man with multiple children and multiple mothers? I think it depends on how you look at it, you know. Um you know, all of my kids are well taken care of. They all go to the to the best schools. They're, they're but, all, all but of you the, don't live with them. All of the all of the mothers are, are taken care of financially. And, financially, and 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 I'm there for my children as a father. I live the good life because my dad is Diddy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's perfectly true that Diddy takes care of his family financially. The prince has arrived. Witness the birthday party he threw for his son Justin's 16th birthday, shot by MTV for the reality show My Super Sweet 16. A car fit for a king! This is the best birthday ever. Love you, boy. Do you think it was appropriate to buy your 16 year old son? a Maybach car worth almost $400,000. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's appropriate for me to give my kids whatever I want to give my kids. Do you think that was an, I, I, a sensible I, I feel, lesson for a I, child? I feel the way, the way that I raised my children, you know, um, I don't have to explain to you or anybody else because nobody knows the way I raised my children. Do you, do you think that that was a valuable lesson, though, for a child to, to learn <laughs> yeah, the it, meaning it, of money? No, to it give a child not, a car it, it was, with a chauffeur it was, it worth $400,000? It, 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 it wasn't even about a lesson. It's what I wanted to do. You know, I, I, I could do whatever I want to do with my children, and you can't question me about it. Nobody can question me about what I do with my children. Moving quickly on, Diddy is currently starring in the movie Get Him to the Greek, where he's cast as a hyper-controlling, expletive-using music executive. This is what the music industry is all about! I think what I did is I, I used a piece of myself in the film and the exaggerated piece that people think about me and exaggerated it even more. And this is certainly where Diddy sees his future. You ever been my before? I don't think so. I'm my you right now. You are? What is mind f***ing? Mind f***ing is um, in control of a situation that the other person doesn't realize that you're in control of. And um, they never really realize you were in control of it. Like this interview. This interview? Nah. <laughs> you, you're one of the best mom f***ers in the game, though. I can tell you that. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. It is a compliment. <laughs> and with that, Diddy was off to do what he does best, offering his brand to the world. And the saga continue. I also had the opportunity to ask Diddy, a diehard sportsman and Knicks fan, about the NBA Finals, who he thinks will win and why. Kobe Bryant, I think, is the best player in the NBA. 
Paul Pierce is the best player on the Boston Celtics. And I think that's the difference. And that difference means that the Diddy dollar is on the Lakers. Oh, my money's on the Lakers. I think it's, it's the all-around team, um, how they coach. I think they're better coach and they have more experience. I think they're, they're more prepared and they're more consistent. I think there's a lot of inconsistencies with Boston. You know who's running the show. You know, with the Lakers, the team knows who's running the show and Kobe leads them to the wins and to the championship.